My name is Dave. Um, I'm a maintenance fitter at Stancombe Quarry, just in the outskirts of Bristol. People are quite stumped. If I said that I was a maintenance fitter to uh, a lot of my friends, they often call me Chandler because nobody knows what Chandler did in Friends. So it, it takes a while for me to explain what I have to do. One day you could be working on repairing a breakdown on some of the fixed machinery that we've got here. That could be crushers, conveyors. Um, it could also mean a lot of workshop duties. So I could be uh, fabricating and welding and lots of other things. I worked hard at school. Um, I didn't really know the direction I was going to take, so uh, as I sort of progressed, um, people were offering me different ideas. Um, I went into the sixth form on the pretense that I was going to go to university. But then when the school finished and I decided to go on to sixth form, a lot of my friends took different routes. They either went straight into college and did apprenticeships. Some of them went straight into work. And part of me felt that because I was with them all the time, they always had a bit of money. And I, I felt that that was the route that I'd like to have taken. I think my first time was uh, actually getting this job. It was obviously one of the first interviews I took after sixth form. And I had a call back from Tarmac within an hour to tell me I had this job. And that was a great feeling. It's a great feeling to know that I'd be out in the big world world uh, earning some money. And uh, the quarry is quite nicely tucked away. And so when I came up the, the, the hill and saw the quarry for the first time, it, it, it does take your breath away. It's a, it's a huge hole. And uh, yeah, you know, I just I, I wanted to know more about it and what, what activities went on there, what sort of stone they quarried and how it's processed. And I ended up uh, working as a technician in the quarry, which involved um, testing stone and uh, asphalt um, to make sure they, they comply with certain standards. Um, I think in the first role that I did, I didn't really think, didn't really find it that stimulating. I, I was here for three years, and because the, each day it didn't vary, that my jobs were set, and that is what was required of me each day. I did three years here, and and over that time, I felt that maybe there was maybe there wasn't um, a sort of route for me to progress in that line of work. Um, so I spoke to um, one of my managers, and they said there would be a possibility of me moving to a different department within the quarry. They felt that it might be a good idea for me to become a maintenance fitter, and that was three and a half years ago, and here I am now. Uh, I don't think I have any regrets, but I often wonder what position I'd be in now if I'd have taken the university route after the sixth form. I did get accepted to go to university to be a, a building surveyor. Um, my dad was a surveyor and, and a couple of my relatives are surveyors, so he would have liked me to go into that. Um, so yeah, I would have been qualified by now if I'd, have, if I'd have gone through that route, but I took this route and I think it's fate that I've ended up here. Um, I'd like to hope that I can progress within the company. Um, I think uh, the position that I'm in now gives me a good basis for the quarry workings. So I'd like to think that I'd end up my boss's position in five years. I think that would be like the next, the next progression for me. But you never know, I made such a, uh, a step over from a technician to a maintenance. It's, it's two different, different sectors. So you know, there might be a possibility of a different opening with me, for me uh, in, the, in the industry.